Have you ever played a game that made you feel really smart? A game that presents fun challenges to you and does a good job teaching you to overcome these challenges to feel like you might be the next great mind to bring humanity forward? Well, if that sounds fun, you should try Humanity. Humanity is from the developers of Tetris Effect, and that becomes apparent as you see all the creative and weird visuals and music that will drill its way into your consciousness and put you to a zen state as you play. Okay, the music isn't as good as Tetris Effect, but it's still pretty good. At its core, Humanity is a puzzle game, and the way you interface with these puzzles is by controlling this magical, glowing spirit dog and placing commands on the ground in the path of the humans to guide them to where they need to go. You're basically a sheepdog guiding endless numbers of humans through obstacles and into the light. Things start out pretty simple, with you mainly switching the directions of the humans in certain phases as they walk into a line to the exit. But as you play, you unlock more and more abilities that range anywhere from letting the humans jump to arming them with lasers to defend themselves. The cadence at which you get these new mechanics is well paced, allowing you enough time to learn a new mechanic, have fun with it, test yourself with more difficult puzzles and integrate them with the other things you've learned along the way, get the next mechanic, and repeat. I really got glued to the game in my first few sit-downs and was constantly being impressed by how fun and satisfying the solutions were to pull off and witness. Along the way, you'll come across something called Goldie, a large gold human that mostly acts as a collectible to strive for in each level, unlocking cosmetics along your journey. These Goldie can show up anywhere from one to three times in a level and vary in difficulty to save. Sometimes, going out of your way to direct your humans to grab Goldie will make accomplishing other things in the level more difficult. Sometimes, the Goldie is a required key to beat the level in the first place. I ended up getting all the Goldie along the way and really enjoyed the added challenge of pulling this off. Something in my brain wouldn't quite let me move on from a level without getting all of them each time, so I didn't really beat a level in my mind until I saved them all. The game is separated into different chapters, each with trials and optional trials within. Each chapter has a theme, and Humanity does a great job making sure these themes make sense from both the story point of view and what the game is having you do. The story is pretty light overall, and really only exists between chapters. You don't really need to pay attention or try to understand what the game is telling you to understand the puzzles or anything like that. If you do pay attention though, it's basically a meta commentary on humans and them needing to be led, and how we can devolve into violence if it means getting what we want, and a bunch of other stuff I didn't really always make sense to me. Some of it went over my head, but that didn't really take away from the experience. I didn't even expect a story going into this game, so even a thin plot designed completely to introduce new gameplay mechanics to me was more than I thought I was going to get anyway. And speaking of introducing new gameplay mechanics, this was both a boon and a bane for how I felt about humanity in general. In the first handful of chapters, all the new abilities, you know, jumping, floating, diverting paths, they felt like natural evolutions allowing for more complex puzzles that I loved. Where the game started to lose me a bit was when it introduced the enemy characters. A little over halfway through the game, you start having to avoid these antagonistic enemy humans who want to steal Goldie from you and they'll attack and kill your humans to do so. Naturally, this leads into violence, and like I mentioned before, and you have to start arming your humans with swords and guns to fight back. At first, this is just another thing that felt right. When and where do I give them certain defenses in order to get through safely? Sure, makes sense. But eventually, it felt like the entire focus of the game became this concept. This is only amplified when you gain the ability to lead humans with the follow command freely walking the herd through the levels without the need for arrows to point them on set paths. This even led to stealth mechanics being implemented, you know, your classic wait in a safe spot, avoid detection from the bad guys in a surveillance route kind of thing. And the game almost changed genres into a type of real-time strategy game at this point. Which, you know, to be clear, was well done for the most part and even enjoyable at times, but it never looked back. This is just what the game was now. It made me miss the first few dozen puzzles that I was hooked on and wanted more of. I loved watching these endless lines of humans walking like ants in the paths I set for them. Jumping over each other, climbing up walls, diving off, just to eventually make it through to the light at the end. Luckily for me though, if I want to play an endless amount of these created puzzles, Humanity does have an online level creation and sharing option. I haven't dug into it too much yet, but with just a couple quick button presses, I had a whole new set of recommended community created levels I could jump into. So at the end of the day, Humanity was a game I was absolutely glued to and loved at first, 
and then it became something I mostly just kind of tolerated and spent wishing I was playing more of what I started with by the end. If you like puzzle games, I would still strongly recommend trying this one out, even if you only play the first two thirds or so of the game. There's still plenty to enjoy here, and you know, hey, maybe you enjoy the back half of the game and it'll click with you more than it did for me. I played it through on PlayStation Plus as it was included in the extra tier, so if you have that tier, it's definitely worth the download. Final score, 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Humanity was just another quality release from the crazy June we had, and I'm glad I found the time to go back and check it out. If you like this review and you want to throw a like on this video, it would really mean a lot. And if you're interested in seeing what I have to say about other games or gaming conversation points, consider subscribing. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.